the Light Body School combines the best of ancient shamanic medicine with modern physics and neuroscience. It's founded on the notion that we have a luminous energy field that surrounds the physical body and organizes the body in the same way that a magnet organizes iron filings on a piece of glass. When you remove the imprints of disease and the psychological imprints and the family stories that we have etched in the field of our luminous body, we're able actually to grow a new body that ages and heals and dies differently. You can learn these ancient methodologies that have been passed down from teacher to student for a thousand generations. And today we finally have the science and the neuroscience to be able to understand these mechanisms. When you upgrade the quality of your bioenergy field, of this luminous energy field that we all have, what we're doing is we're participating consciously in our healing and in our evolution. You do not have to live again the old tired stories that run in your family. You do not have to live again the genetic curses that we inherit, the heart conditions, the breast conditions that run in our families. We can heal these by repairing the luminous energy field. But then we learn how to upgrade the quality of the field itself. What we're doing is that we're hacking our biology. We're upgrading the quality of our energy field so that we can have our health span equal our lifespan. There are four ancient methodologies that we teach at the Light Body School. The first one is the illumination process. And the illumination process, you upgrade the quality of your luminous energy field by erasing the imprints for disease that we have etched in this information field that will later organize the body into health or into illness. When you upgrade the quality of your field, you upgrade the quality of your health and of your life. You're able to dream a world into being where you experience inner peace and healing, where you're free of your family stories and the psychological dramas that run in our histories. And we're able to craft a world of peace and of health and actually bring that to others. We're able to share these methodologies to bring healing and beauty into the world. The second process is the soul retrieval process, where we learn how to recover an essential part of ourselves that we lost as a result of trauma. Now frequently this trauma did not happen to us. It might have happened to our mothers while we were in the womb. It might have come from a previous lifetime. But even in our mother's womb, the stress hormones go right through the placental barrier and they wire our brain for scarcity, for not trusting men or women, and for not being able to rely on the world to support us. When we recover these lost soul parts, we become energetically whole. We're no longer looking to complete ourselves through our partners or through our jobs, but we experience wholeness and integrity. These lost soul parts that we not had with us for so many years finally come home and we experience a level of wholeness that we have not experienced perhaps since we were very young. The third process is the extraction process where we learn to extract intrusive energies and even entities that have settled into our luminous energy field. Things like envy or um, anger directed at us that can penetrate our field and make us very toxic. They become embedded in our field. Sometimes when I look at a client, I see them as an energetic pincushion with needles sticking into their field that have come from other people that have directed their rage or their envy towards them. We learn to extract these intrusive energies that are making us toxic and creating discomfort and psychological turmoil and even physical disease. And occasionally we even run into intrusive energies 
which are most often a loved one who died without saying their goodbyes and their I love yous, and they become attached to our field. I remember one time a woman walked into my office and she told me, finally, my mother is gone, the witch is dead, and walking right in behind her with her was her mother's spirit. And I said to her, she may be dead, but now she's with you 24-7. We have to help her to die consciously, to make her way back home in peace, and you must make amends with her so you can be free. The fourth process that we work with are the great death rites, where we learn how to help someone return back to the world, the spirit, in peace and fearlessly. These are some of the most important healing practices of the shamanic traditions, and they are Techniques that we have forgotten in the West. We don't know how to die consciously anymore. We don't know how to help someone's luminous body leave this tired old body behind and journey back to the world of freedom and of spirit gracefully. These practices where you learn how to bring closure to a life and help a loved one, perhaps even that person that brought you into the world, go back home consciously and peacefully, are tremendously important today. And we do that by learning to disengage the luminous energy field from the physical body so that it can make its final journey home. But this is not a process we use only for those that are passing. We can also use that for ourselves when we're coming to the end of a stage in our lives when we end a long-term relationship, when we end a career and are ready for a new one, where we have to let an old self die so that we can be born into who we are becoming, into a new being. Otherwise, we continue to drag the past with us into who we are becoming. These are the four core practices that we learn in the Light Body School. And you learn them not by reading a book, not by watching a demonstration, but by actually healing your past, by removing the intrusive energies that may be lodged in your energy field, by recovering your lost soul parts, some of which we have lost for many lifetimes, bringing them back home again. And lastly, and maybe most important, by learning how to journey consciously back to our spiritual homes back to the world of spirit, back to that place that we all source from and where we belong. Because it's much more difficult to be born than to die. And we don't die only once. We're like the cats that have nine lives. We die many different times in our lives. And the challenge is to be born newly, to be born freshly, and to be born into a world that receives us and welcomes us not one that is adversarial and predatory. We need to shed those old stories. And this is what we do in the Light Body School. You write a new story for yourself, where you are the author of your own destiny. These technologies have never been more important than today. Come and join us and explore this inner world of the shaman, a world of ancient wisdom, where you learn also how modern neuroscience is interfacing with these ancient wisdom technologies. Thank you.